Dhoni is you're the selector. You're always select. Give me what if you have. Yeah. I'll do my magic and I'll give you a result. I'll okay. get it done. Yeah. I'm the alfresco chef. You know. I'll take whatever you give me and I'll put put something together. It'll be tasty. Virat He's, is saying no. I want the best of that. I want the best of best that. Best ingredients. I want the best ingredients. I'm going to keep them and I'm going to try ten times with them. Maybe the the dish won't turn out well the first time. But by the fifth time, I'll have the best dish on the planet, and he'll fight for those five dishes. Okay, now the big turnaround for Indian cricket happened at the time when Sort of Ganguly essentially was, in my head, and in my young head at the time, it was the, it was a true shakeout from that half a century colonial complex that India had carried. Right where this guy said, "Well, hang on, hang on, we're not bending over for anyone, right? You may be whatever you are." But we are no less than anyone, and we're going to play a firebrand, aggressive style of cricket. And now I want match winners with me. I don't want also runs. I don't want guys who play for draws. I want guys who on their day can win. And that's he said that to me on Breakfast with Champions, where he said that I didn't want draw players. I wanted players who on their day will win a game because when it's not your day, you can't do anything. The opposition is ruling the roost. But when it is your day. You should have guys who can actually put their foot down on the jugular, and not guys who will play it safe. And that's what spawned an entire generation of players who actually went on to win you, oh seven and two thousand eleven. Absolutely. And I remember being on a plane on a flight to Bangladesh in two thousand four. It was, and Shorav just telling you, there's this Chabuk. Chabuk means whip. Chabuk, yeah. new batsman who's come out. You've got to see him. M S Dhoni. He's a star. He's going to be a star. was the one thing shorab was fantastic at was he could just see it and he knew you had the talent and if you had the talent he'd back you it didn't mean you could not get runs you could fail it didn't matter to him because he knew that on the day you had the ability to succeed look at yuvraj look at sehwag you know what does he do to sehwag he turns around and he tells sehwag that look the middle order is too crowded if you have to play for india you have to open mm. because you know There's myself. There's Tendulkar. There's Javid. There's Lakshman. Where are you going to get in? Yuvraj Singh didn't get a chance for so many years because this middle order is crowded. Go and open. And what happened? Sehwag opened, and you know history was made after that. I mean, Sehwag. Sehwag no told him. By the way, Sehwag told uh, Ganguly and said that uh, no, no. But uh, what if I fail? Then you'll drop me. He said, but you're not getting a chance to play anyway. Yeah. So what's the worst that can happen? And he told him, I'll give you a specific number of games. So go and express yourself, and don't worry about me dropping you because these are the number of games that you will get to play, and that's the beauty of a captain. You see when a guy is worried, what he's worried about, and then you put those worries to rest. And it's the one of the greatest gifts that a cricket fan could have got. We're in their Sehwag opening for India, a, a gift that gave us for so many years, which is what MS Dhoni did with Rohit Sharma, and that's a gift that's giving Indian cricket mm-hmm. again for a long time. These are just genius, instinctive moves, and and. A captain who has a genuine instinct, right? And you've seen captain like Gautam Gambhir. I always believe has a genuine instinct as a leader, right? Yeah, yeah. Sort of Ganguly had that instinct as a leader. MS Dhoni had that instinct as a leader. And if you look at the two captaincy styles, look at the difference. See, Ganguly does not inherit a great team. Ganguly has one Sachin who's a great player. Remember Dravid. All the rest of them are players created in his time. Yeah. So they've literally started, you know, performing in his time. Arbachan, you know, Zaheer, uh, Yuvraj, Nehra, Sehwag, yeah. all of them. Dravid with him, you know, all these guys are coming up together with him. What does Dhoni inherit? Dhoni inherits a dressing room of serious legends. Yeah. Okay, they're all sitting out there. Here's Lakshman. Here's Ganguly. Here's Dravid. He's so Sachin, they're yeah. yeah their his captaincy style is very different from Ganguly's. Ganguly was building a team. Here he has to manage a team of superstars, and get them to perform and perform the way he wants to do. And so it's very interesting. He's he has to give respect to every one of them, yet in his own way he has to prove that he is the boss. Can get the job done. Absolutely, and right. he does. He does such a successful job of it. It's amazing. The people management skills. Shorav had team building skills. He built this team up. Now the players that have now become legends, Dhoni had to manage. Yeah, very different. Challenge and he did it very well. We've spoken about Dhoni. We've spoken about Ganguly. Let's talk about Virat Kohli and his captaincy as well. It's become, you know, that he's going to give up Test captaincy as the most successful, uncatchable sort of successful record uh, for a captain for a, for a win. Now here's the difference that I see it between Dhoni and Virat. Dhoni uh, as a captain, astute reader of the game. I don't think anybody can read the game and read the play as much as he can. 
and virat will probably be the first person to admit that because that's why you know in white ball he leans towards him so much to run the play when the team is fielding right when they in the field dhoni runs the play but what virat is really good at is actually his philosophy is different right so with all this aggression nonsense that people keep talking about i don't focus on that focus on the fact that he really backs bowlers now ravi chandan ashwin has, has as much as said that that he has said that bowlers will win the matches and that's why you see uh there's ishan sharma umesh yadav mohammad shami so bumrah's new but with these three they were around when dhoni was there as well but this resurgence of of ishan sharma as this potent force it's virat in the attention and the care and the detail that is given to the bowlers especially the fast bowlers which is why we become such a formidable fast bowling attack and that's what virat does virat builds up ms dhoni you pointed out is really good at what i call optimization give me what i've give me joginder sharma the last over no problem i'll get him to bowl it will win the world cup absolutely right. you've got it bang on give me a dad army for the chennai super kings and i'll take them to the we'll final title Yeah. I will make Parthiv Patel open the batting, you yeah. know, because I don't have another batsman. I'll make Sudeep Tiagi good enough to play for India. Yeah. I'll make Manpreet Goni good enough to play for India. And notice, after they've left Kings uh, CSK, they've never been the same players. Yeah. So what he was really good at was getting the best out of them. Yeah. I think what Virat is really good at is saying, in these next five years, I'm going to build these bowlers, and they're going to win matches for me around the world, mm. not just in India. Because yeah, in India you have Ashwin and Jadeja. it's going to be very difficult for anyone to win kuldeep is coming along but abroad today we probably have the best bowling attack india's ever had in its history in fast terms of pace attack, for, yeah fast bowling yeah attack. yeah we've never had that kind of attack so i think that's what the difference that's where the culture of the team comes because virat is that kind of a guy who goes in for a fast aggressive hunter type kill pace bowlers work for him because dhoni is chanakya he is a chess player that's why spinners always work for him right he's a strategist he likes to play with the field right it's so interesting yeah. you had a very fantastic line where you said that a good captain is almost like a general in a war explain that yeah i'll just go on most of what we call you know war is about a higher direction of war so a general is not meant to give you know a 300 word statement to his troops and all that he has to give something very simple very straight and very inspirational a tagline yeah <laughs> so mrs gandhi for example was a commander of the indian armed forces in 71 she said just one statement when the 71 war was happening because remember we had east pakistan west pakistan she said hold the west annihilate the east that means just fight defensive on the west finish off the east very simple easy to understand very clear focus so i believe virat is exactly that virat is saying test cricket we need to take 20 wickets hmm we need to take wickets we need to take 20 wickets and he's relentlessly focused on that because he knows he has the batting firepower if they keep consistently taking 20 wickets he'll keep winning matches very very great clarity of thought and i think the good captains are blessed with clarity of thought for many more stories like this join me on 22 yarns a spotify original